And for STEM Ops today, we're gonna learn how to create a theater experience with a shoebox projector. This is really a family project. Adult supervision will be needed. The first thing you'll need is permission from your parents. We're gonna use a cell phone from this. We're gonna place it in the back of the shoebox and project the movie through the lens up on the screen. You will also need a shoebox. This one is about 15 inches in length. You will need a magnifying glass. You will need a pen or a pencil. You will need black tape. You will need black paint and a paintbrush. And lastly, you will need an X-Acto knife or a box cutter. This is where the adult supervision comes in. First thing I'm gonna do is remove the glass from the handle of the magnifying glass. It might take a little effort to pop it out. Hold your magnifying lens to one of the short ends of the box. Take your pen and just trace around it. So as we trace it, we're gonna go just up a little bit on the lip of the box. You're gonna need some adult supervision or adult help to cut this out. Go ahead and follow the line all the way around. And now you have your hole here and we're gonna paint the inside black. We're going to fit the lens into the hole and we're going to use black tape to tape it in really snug. Now that we've got the lens in, we can decorate the outside of the box. I used fabric paint and stickers to decorate my box. Next, we're gonna make a phone holder out of a piece of cardboard. So this is just a, a piece of plain piece of cardboard that was found in the back of a drawer somewhere. I'm gonna fold it into a triangle there. It doesn't even have to be really cut evenly. I'm gonna take some duct tape. We can lean our phone up against it. We'll put it inside the box. And that gives us a little room to move forward or back so we can focus our picture on the screen. Did you know that Anoka County has a streaming service called Canopy? They have over 30,000 movies available to you with your library card. I have the app downloaded on my phone. I'm gonna hit it, bring it up. This is Canopy Kids. I'm gonna go right there. And I'll choose something to watch. Creepy carrots. I pulled up this video of Arthur but there are a few things you need to know before we watch it on the big screen. The first thing you need to do is make sure the brightness is all the way up. The second thing you need to do is to lock the phone in the horizontal position. And then when you play, make sure the phone is put in your box upside down. The magnifying glass flips the image and projects it right side up. Now you're ready to close the box and project. But remember, it has to be very dark. So not only can you move the phone back and forth inside the box to provide focus, but when you close the box, you can also shift the box forward and back to focus it up on the screen. So what is the science behind it? How did the magnifying glass make the picture bigger? The answer is in the shape of the lens. The lens is convex, meaning its sides bend outwards. This allows it to catch, bend, and focus all the light from inside the box and project it onto the wall. But why 
is the image upside down. The human eye has a lens similar to the magnifying glass attached to the projector. What the eye sees comes through the eye's lens upside down. But the brain learns to flip the image right side up. The magnifying lens flips the image as the light from the phone screen passes through it, just like your eye flips the light from the world. You can get credit for this project in our Summer Adventures Reading Program by going to anokacounty.beanstack.org. This activity, Have a Family Movie Night, can be found under the Family Bonding Badge. So grab your popcorn and a few snacks and enjoy your movie on the big screen.